Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This video is another in my practice session series for the Red Hat Certified Specialist in Containers exam EX188. Before I dive in, I want to thank returning subscribers for watching another video, as well as invite anyone who's watching if you haven't subscribed yet to click the subscribe button and ring the bell when you do. Also, if you enjoy the video, make sure you do click like. As a reminder, these are practice sessions for me to assess my knowledge of objectives for the EX188 exam and try uh, doing some exercises related to the objectives. The idea is if at the end of the video I feel confident in the objectives, then that's great. If not, I have just under two weeks to brush up on some of the tasks or um, concepts with the objectives to be better prepared for my exam. These videos are not intended to be um, training materials, nor are they tutorials, but I do try to have the information as accurate as possible because I hope to have a good understanding of these objectives. Hopefully, if you're watching these videos and you yourself are preparing for the exam, I might show you some ideas on how to practice yourself for some of these objectives based off of what, what I am doing for my own preparation. One thing to note is that these videos are being made in... Um, March of 2024. So, you know, if you find these years in the future, note that if this exam still exists, things might be different. So that being said, we're continuing in the manage images section of the objectives, and we're going to look at pushing and pulling images to and from registries. I'm also going to look at um, trying to copy images between registries as well. And I do want to uh, make a note at the end of my previous video about image tags. I was trying to do some stuff with Scopio and a remote image. In fact, the uh, issue there was the image. I have another one that was in that GitLab repository. It was actually a copy of the UBI image and inspecting worked perfectly with that. Uh, Scopio is able to list tags, but from what I could see, it could not actually make tags for images. You're going to do that with the Podman commands. So let's get right into it as far as pushing and pulling images to and from registries. So let us do good old Podman. So actually, I might not. Let's see if I've memorized the fully qualified image name of good old UBI8. Make sure I have no images pulled down. So to pull an image, it is quite simple. Podman pull and then the fully qualified image name of your image. So in this case, this will be registry dot access dot red hat dot com slash UBI eight UBI. And since I'm not going to specify a tag by default, it's going to pull the latest. And what this is going to do is copy down the, uh, the layers of the image and they'll be stored on our system. And if I am correct, these are stored. Actually, let's do a Podman inspect real quick of this image. And we can look and see where this ended up. I believe we can find that here. I've always been told image is a tar archive, but I haven't found the said tar archive yet, which I, probably what happens is it gets pulled down and expanded. Yeah, this makes sense. User local share or my user. Let's go into here real quick. And that's probably where our, our image is living. If I were to ls. Yeah, so that's this is basically where all of our image stuff is going to be, which is in the local share container storage and then overlay images, maybe overlay layers has some bits to it as well. So as far as pulling an image, that is it. If you do Podman run and you start your container and you specify an image, if the image is not already present on your container host, it's going to, to pull down the image. Now pushing an image um, is kind of a similar thing. We're actually going to create an image real quick. So we have something, I mean, technically we could just push this image, but we'll make something a little different. And it gives me a chance to uh, practice making a container file. So from this image, not registry, but registry, we will do what I did in the last video. Run echo, here is some text. Put that in temp test.txt. Entry point will be to cat temp.test.txt. Or maybe I'll try to be fancy. We'll do this. 
we'll do the cat command and the parameter that we'll feed it with the CMD will be temp.test. So you can potentially cat other things. And we'll call this when we build it. Um, let's go ahead and tag it for the registry. It's, well, no, I have to think what's that going to be. I will just do it for localhost for right now. So this will podman build, not just build. We're going to call it cat test. We're going to go ahead and tag it with v1 or just cat test1. We'll run a container using cat test1. And there is our container. So if we want to push it, we would use the podman push command. Now, I'm not aware of any registries that you can push to that are unauthenticated. So I'm going to take a moment and gather my credentials for my registry in um, GitLab. And we'll push this up to GitLab and see what happens. All right, so we're going to log in to my registry. So log in. So this will be registry.gitlab.com my username, feed it my password. All right, login succeeded. Otherwise, we're going to get an error when we try to uh, to push this image. All right, so we are going to do podman push. And the image that we are going to push is cat test with the tag of one. And we're going to be pushing that to registry.gitlab. See if I have this memorized right. Slash Eddie Jennings. And we're going to put it in the EX122 namespace because that's uh, related to my um, uh, project that I have in GitLab. And I think that's all I need. Let's see what happens. Invalid image name. Ah, uh, we have to do the Docker colon colon. This obviously is a callback to from where Podman originated, which was coming from Docker reference format. I see. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did my practice session video because I realized the mistake that I made. I need to actually, when I do the tag of the image that I'm building, I need to include the, or so I thought, I need to include the fully qualified um, image name. So let's build another image. Podman build t. This is going to be registry.gitlab.com. Eddie Jennings, I spell my own name right, EX122, and this is going to be cat test one. Okay, so it ends up actually being the exact same image, but with technically a different, another tag. So now let's try podman push, registry.gitlab, all that good stuff. It's odd because I have authenticated to that. You know, I'm just curious. Yeah, that's what I thought. It would be image unknown. Maybe I'll just do cat test. That'd have to be cat test one. And it's going to complain. All right, that's kind of weird. I wasn't expecting to see. Hmm. Just literally copy and paste the same command again. See if I get a different result. No, so. Oh, I see. I was doing EX188. Ah, uh, all right. Now, now I understand. Kind of embarrassed that it took me this long to figure it out. So we're going to blow away all my images. Let's build this again and use the right URL. So podman build tag registry dot gitlab dot com slash Eddie Jennings EX188. I wonder why I have EX122 in my head. But for whatever reason, cat test tag one. And now all those errors make sense. Of course, I say that, and it's going to fail this time, right? So podman push, registry.gitlab.com, and now we're getting some success. Or this will probably take a minute or so because I'm pushing on my internet connection. So I'll um, pause and be back in a moment. Okay, so it has finished, and I went ahead and took the liberty of logging in to GitLab, and so we can take a look at this image. Go to deploy container registry and there is our cat test. We see it has one tag of 
one. So we have pushed to an we have pushed to a registry. Um, we have pulled from a registry, and if I wanted to, since I'm already um, since I'm already authenticated, we can pull this image back down. So I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy. Podman rm i a. So this blows away the images we have. Let's see if we can pull this. We should because I am um, I'm authenticated. Yep. There it goes. Downloading is faster than uploading. Podman images. And we'll run a container real quick. And there's our, our container doing, doing its thing. The other thing I wanted to show was um, copying an image from one place to another. So we can use do that with the Scopio command. We have to install Scopio. It's not on your system by, or I'm fairly sure it's not going to be on the system by default. This is one of several tools that you can use for working with containers. I know there's another one called Builda, which I imagine that's something to complement Podman Build. And Scopio is for working with images. I think it can probably do more stuff than Podman Image can. I do know Scopio can um, it can interact with images that are in, in, a, in a remote repository. So that's installed. And actually what we'll do blow away the images again and I'll show you Scopio this should work famous last words in IT right Scopio inspect this image oh yeah we have to do the docker colon colon with this and this should look familiar when I've inspected images before but this is that cat test image we see labels that it has layers environment path it doesn't show the entry point I think I have to do config. Let's try that. Yeah, there's the entry point. So I guess config dumps all of the information that would be found in the, the image. So what I want to do, since I'm still authenticated to this repository, is demonstrate copying from one repository to another. Let me go back in here. Let me delete, delete image repository. I guess I was scheduled for deletion. Well, I guess it'll get deleted eventually. All right, let's go back to our command line. And here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to do Scopio copy. And you can use, I think it's, um, there's an option for TLS, which we're not going to have to do this. But if you're doing a bunch of stuff locally, and you like you have your own local repository, you can do um, desk at TLS verify and tell it no. And there's all sorts of other little things that you can do as well. Uh, we'll do Scopio copy, and the source is going to be registry dot red hat no access red hat dot com ubi eight ubi. And the destination is going to be registry dot gitlab dot com slash eddie jennings ex one eight eight and we will do, we'll call it UBI and the tag from Red Hat. And so this kind of thing is nice in the fact that it, um, it doesn't require you to copy an image to your machine and then upload it back to whatever your other repository is. It's just copying directly. And you notice it didn't take very long because all of these images, the, the images are built in the in layers. And so therefore all it did was copy what bit didn't already exist because remember I've been building all the other stuff on UBI eight. So if we go over to the container registry, let me refresh this. We see EX88 UBI and it has the, then there's one tag in that and that's the from Red Hat. So I think pushing and pulling images to and from, uh, repositories. I think I've pretty well, pretty well have that under hand. I will be surprised if I struggle on an exam objective uh, relating to that. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure that you click like, and I want to thank returning subscribers again for watching another video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do click that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can know when new content comes available. Thank you for your time, and I will see you the next time.